Hello guys, welcome back to the Brutal Master channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. In this episode, I'm going to talk about another short term project that in my opinion has a really high potential in the short term. And this project is called QRADO token or the QRDO token, right? Again, as always guys, I highly recommend you guys to do your own research on any other project you are on our channel. And for this project, I recommend you guys to go to the website QRADO.com in order to learn more about this product, right? But before we talk about Curado, I want to talk to you guys about Gerard.io. Gerard.io is a centralized exchange that's known for listing low market cap gem tokens way before they get listed on major centralized exchanges such as Binance or Coinbase. What this means is if you have a Gerard account and if you invest in these low market cap gem tokens, you stand a chance to make 10, 20, 50 or even 100x gains on these cryptos, right? And if you don't have a Gerard account right now, I highly recommend you guys to use the link in the description to set up a Gerard.io account today and by doing so, you not only increase the chance of making some really good gains in the crypto market, but you are also getting an opportunity to use some of their world famous tools such as copy trading, giveaways and NFT boxes in order to further increase your profitability as well, right? And by using the link in the description to set up a Gerard.io account, you are also supporting the Brutal Western channel for which I thank you in advance. Now going back to the credo token, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to uh, use the information presented on coin market caps page for this token, along with the information presented on the website itself. But this is only going to be a peripheral analysis, which means you need to do your own in-depth research before you put your hard-earned money on this token, right? So what is Curado? Curado is re-architecting digital asset ownership and blockchain connectivity a radical new approach to bring liquidity and capital efficiency to the blockchain economy. Curado has pioneered the first decentralized trustless multi-party computation or MPC custodial network. So what Curado is aiming to do is it's aiming to re-architect digital asset ownership, right? So that's our main focus along with adding blockchain connectivity to their platform. And what this does is they are using this as a new radical approach to bring liquidity and capital efficiency, uh, which are two backbones of the crypto space, uh, to the blockchain economy. And Curado has pioneered the first decentralized trustless multi-party competition or MPC custodial network. So they are uh, claiming to be the first uh, to pioneer the decentralized trustless MPC custodial network in the crypto space, right? So this advancement enables Curado to offer decentralized custody, native cross-chain swaps and cross-platform liquidity access. So what this basically enables them to do is it uh, enables Curado to offer decentralized custody solutions. So you've heard about centralized custody solutions, but they're offering you decentralized custody solutions, which is very important. And once um, you get that, you can also use their native cross-chain swaps, which is also something they're offering, along with cross-platform liquidity access to access liquidity from multiple different platforms, which is very interesting uh, in order to achieve your blockchain capabilities, right? So Curado works at a cutting edge of uh, cybersecurity and blockchain by utilizing the latest innovations in cryptography and distributed ledger technology, Curado de delivers a powerful global network for securing and trading digital assets. So they are using some of the most cutting edge technologies and cybersecurity um, you know, information or uh, knowledge that they have in order to utilize the, um, uh, you know, in, in order to provide a pro powerful global network for securing and trading digital assets, right? So they are talking in this section, basically talking about, it's talking about the uh, Curado team itself, which I'm going to skip through because it's not something that is relevant to. So the important section is what does Curado do? So what does Curado do and why should you focus on your attention on Curado, right? So Curado or QRDO uh, is a, the native token of this pl platform is a, a token that provides a means of utility and governance to the Curado network. So it is a token that provides a means of um, you know, utility and governance to the Curado network itself. Curado is designed to include a user-centric incentive structure that economically favors the participants of the Curado network. So they 
uh, use their token to provide a user centric which means users are basically at the center of the ecosystem uh, incentive structure that economically favors the participants of the Kyoto network. So people are incentivized economically you know to participate in their platforms governance as well as growth and this drives user adoption and utilization of the network. So by doing so they are obviously trying to get more user adoption to their platform and to the network right. So QRDO or QRDO can be staked with validators and um, uh, and staking yield earned. So unique to QRDO, uh, unvested QRDO are automatically staked and accrued, uh, accrued staking yield. So one of the other things that they basically uh, offer is staking. So you can obviously stake your QRDO tokens as, uh, by becoming a validator. Uh, and earn a staking yield. So any form of unstaked QRDO tokens are automatically staked and accrue staking yield. So which is something very unique to this platform because if you have a token that's unstaked, they automatically stake it for you and provide you with a yield. So that makes, uh, you know, uh, all tokens completely like, uh, you know, staked at any given point of time, thereby not allowing people to, uh, you know, just leave their uh, tokens dormant, right? So that's the quick overview of QRDO, the QRDO token. So let's go to the website, which is, um, you know, QRDO.com, uh, which is a pretty simple, but, uh, you know, very um, confusing name. So you need to use the letter Q with R-E-D-O.com in order to access the website, right? So right off the bat, they have a pretty cool website. I really like their logo on the top left corner. And they are, they're stating that MetaMask Institutional New Integration with Curator. So this is a new announcement that they're making where MetaMask is integrated with the Curator platform. Uh, you can learn more about that by clicking on the learn more button here. And it's a radical new infrastructure. So you can create an account, uh, speak to a specialist in order to access the platform itself. So powered by decentralized custody, decentralized MPC, uh, cross-chain settlement, uh, cross-chain liquidity, uh, interoperable and open source and so on and so forth. So all of these that we discussed right now is available on the platform. The network is the vault. So network itself is the vault which allows you to store and custody um, tokens or uh, you know, uh, cryptos in a fully decentralized manner. Right? So you can learn more about that by cl clicking on the learn more button here. How Curado solves a billion dollar problem. You can click on the read button here in order to see how it does that. Uh, Curado network, uh, the architecture basically consists of layer 1, 2 and 3. Uh, layer 1 is a blockchain, layer 2 is the Curado blockchain itself, which is on top of the layer 1 blockchain. Layer 3 is basically Curado decentralized messaging, which allows for peer-to-peer -peer communication in a fully decentralized and privacy-preserving manner. So technology pillars, so they have fast finality blockchain, which is a very important feature of these blockchains these days, consensus MPC network. Uh, decentralized messaging and so on and so forth. So these are all some of the main Q, uh, Q, uh, you know, key features in order for them to access their, uh, allow for users to access their services. So explore, read our technical resources to learn more. So we have that light paper here, which I highly recommend you guys to read through, which is very quick to understand. But if you want to get a full length picture of what this platform does, you can uh, read through their white paper as well. Uh, they also have an yellow paper and token paper and so on and so forth. They have lots of papers to read. If you are a paper, uh, you know, a freak who wants to le learn more about the project through their technical papers, then this project is for you, right? So build with passion. So if you want to build on their platform, um, you can join their team of developers uh, and uh, you can basically contribute to the growth and development of this platform. Uh, series A round, so they have closed uh, $80 million in, series, in a Series A round in the industry's, um, uh, you know, biggest institutional crypto investment uh, uh, you know, programs. And the biggest names in crypto have invested in this project, which includes Coinbase, which is very interesting because that could be a Coinbase listing for this token, which is going to be definitely making this a really cool token to look into. Uh, Metamask Institutional, uh, which is also interesting, like Avalanche, again Terra, Terra is not really doing well right now, I made a video about this yesterday, and I do believe that Terra will bounce back, and it will bounce back in style, uh, so that's something that you can check out from my YouTube channel uh, from yesterday, so they also have partnerships with uh, Celsius, ne Nexus, uh, Aorus, Hex, Trust, Clearpool, Raptor, Yellow, Spartan, X, Margin, Deribit, Wintermute, uh, GSR, Hoff, uh, you know, G1 Ventures, um, you know, Mevin Capital, uh, 
Gummy, sorry, Gummy, Cryptos, uh, 1KX Kinetic, CMS, and Kronos. So these are all some of the partners who invest in this project. So if you want to read a case study from the Spartan Group, you can do that as well. Uh, here's a roadmap and the milestones that are achieved. We're in 2021 Q2. Uh, you can read through their achievements here so far and what they plan for the future as well. And if you go below, you can see the Join Curator Network by signing up to their newsletter to become a uh, you know uh, official member of their group and they are an audited verified and insured platform audited by Lloyds and Sompos and if you scroll to the right you can see some of the other platforms that have also audited them and this is pen tested by Zocchio and I think um, peer reviewed by Dr. Michael Scott um, and security audited by Quantstamp and NCC group and so on and so forth right. So developer guides, they have developer guides for developers to build on top of them. They are an open source platform. And if you scroll further below, you have the community information, which you, you can access to become a part of the community, right? So overall, a very promising platform or a project, which uh, also has a high chance of being listed on Coinbase, uh, because Coinbase ventures have invested in their product, right? So going back to the Curator platform uh, in CoinMarketCap page, so let's... Uh, see that this is the uh, 461st market ranked market cap uh, by coin market cap on uh, you know on the current scenario and this token is currently trading at 48 cents at the time I'm making this video with 15.80 percent in the past 24 hours decrease right so obviously the entire crypto market is dumping and this project is dumping as well uh, but it is not that crazy compared to several other projects that are dumping at a triple digit uh, figures right so if you take a look at the market caps the token only has a market cap of $32.6 million, which is quite low, less than $50 million market cap. And I believe that this project can go up to $100 million in market cap in the future, in the upcoming months. And that's definitely possible, right? So if you take a look at the supply itself, the token has a max supply of 2 billion tokens, out of which only 3% of the tokens are in circulation. So this is obviously a very poor scenario when it comes to tokenomics. And this tokenomics is obviously going to hinder the price appreciation of this token for the sh uh, for the short term to mid term and until a significant portion of the tokens are available in the market this token is going to face some real relentless dumping by people who hold this token right mm -hmm. and since there's not a lot of incentives for people to uh, hold their tokens for long term they could dump this token easily but the but the funny thing is that people who hold this token and who don't stake it get their tokens auto staked by their platform by this platform which means technically this token is kind of like going to encourage people to stake their tokens even if they don't actively stake it themselves and that's going to basically help people not dump their tokens right away right but at the end of the day this tokenomics is quite bad and that is going to affect this tokens uh, you know price potential in the long run right when it comes to the price itself you can clearly see that this token is at its all-time lows right now which is why this token is a really good token to buy because all time lows are really good opportunity to buy a token for short term gains. The initial price of this token was $1.80 as of 31st of August 2021. It then dipped uh, and reached a little lows of 83 cents per token as of 20, um, you know, 20th of uh, September 2021. But then it went on to make a new all time high uh, of about $8 and uh, sorry, $9.50. Uh, as of 18th of November 2021 before crashing down to a price of about uh, $4 or $3.80 as of 19th of December 2021 and then it uh, went to make a second all-time highs of about close to $8 per token before crashing back down and then since then the token was volatile but now this token is obviously crashing because of the current market situation right so as I said this is the all-time lows for this token which means this is the best opportunity to buy this token and if you buy this token uh, there is still a good opportunity for this token to pump in the next few months because of the short term uh, you know impact that this product can have along with the potential coinbase listing which will definitely boost the price of this token to a price of close to uh, you know, two to three dollars per token in the short term, right? Which is definitely a possibility for this token to reach. And if you get that price point um, for this token, you can dump this token and then move on, right? So it's a really good short term token to invest into. But again, please do your own research before putting your money on this token, right? When it comes to the Bitcoin competitive itself, you can clearly see that the Bitcoin competitive is uh, pretty much following the same pattern that the dollar competitive was following. The initial price of this token was 3,800 satoshis per token. It went down, reached 1,800 satoshis per token, and then went to a new all-time high 
of close to you know 18,000 satoshis per token before crashing down all the way till uh, 8,000 satoshis and then went to a new all time highs of slightly over 18,000 satoshis per token before crashing down and then now it's at its all time lows of 2,000 satoshis per token right I think this token can easily uh, pump again uh, in the next few months at least to a 2 to 3 dollar per token range which will definitely make this a really good token to buy with dollar competitive and bitcoin competitive right now but this is still a very risky uh, you know token to buy and it could dip even lower because of the current market situations right but you need to make that decision yourself and do your own research right when it comes to the markets itself this token is listed obviously on getit.io and if you don't know what getit.io is it is one of the most popular centralized exchanges uh, that lists low market cap gem tokens before they get listed on major centralized exchanges such as Binance or Coinbase. So if you don't already have a Gerida account, I suggest you to use the link in the description to set up a Gerida account today. And by doing so, you are not only increasing your profitability as well, but you're also getting a 30% trading fee rebate on any trades that you make on their platform, right? And by using the link in the description to set up a Gerida account, you're also supporting the Brutal Investor channel for which I thank in advance. Apart from Gerrit.io, you also can buy this token from KuCoin, Bitfinex and Gemini along with Crypto.com, Ascendex and several popular other exchanges as well. Uh, so this definitely does warrant the fact that this product can definitely get a Coinbase listing anytime soon. But again, you can definitely get this token from multiple centralized and decentralized exchanges including Ethereum as well. But I would suggest you to stick to the Gerrit.io, KuCoin uh, you know, uh, Gemini, Crypto.com, and Ascendex instead of any other exchange, right? So what's my final verdict on this token, guys? Yes, this is a really um, a tough situation that we are in right now when it comes to the current crypto scenario. Uh, I do believe that we have a lot of opportunities to make some good gains by investing in projects that are going down right now. And projects like this one, which is extremely low market cap, has a good potential to be listed on Coinbase and is also trusted by uh, platforms like Coinbase or Metamask is going to be in it for the uh, you know definitely good uh, capital gains in the next few months right so i think this token can definitely make you some really good short term capital gains uh, in a few months once the market starts slowly recovering uh, obviously the short term uh, price lumping definitely is giving you an opportunity to buy this token but you need to take some time to do your own research because this token could go even further below right but if you buy this token right now there's definitely a high chance that this token can reach as high as two to three dollars per token in the next two to three months right again this is just my opinion guys don't first advice please do your own research before you put your hard-earned money on this token right again remember guys you guys are not regular investors you guys are brutal investors so stay brutal thank you very much for watching my video guys if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos see you in my next video bye